time and of course being with us throughout. Without further ado, let me invite our CEO to guide us in the next session as we move as fast as we can. We want to be here by the four, we should be done. See you. Thanks very much, uh, Carlos, for ushering us into this session. Bwana uh, Waziri, uh, our minister, so Mr. Sakari Njeru, Honorable Njeru, the PS, uh, ladies and gentlemen, good evening, good afternoon. With your permission, sir, I just want to read out and acknowledge some of the key high-level speakers who have really helped to make this uh, conference a success. Ideally, we would have given them, called them forward and given them awards and some gifts, but because of time, we will request that we only read out their names and so that we can proceed to the next session. So, uh, Number one, Dr. Chris Krigwa, the Director of PPP, National Treasury, the Danish Ambassador, uh, Bart Ubamandu, Deputy Mi Head of Mission, USAID Kenya, Dr. Eric Ruto, Chairman Water Sector Trust Fund, Naela Wanjala, Acting Head of Legal Department, National Treasury PPP Unit, Bana Brian Mudoka of the COG, uh, James Lingland, you said, Jafet Mbuvi, Chief of Party, you said, Barbara Senkwe, Deputy Chief of Party, Washfin II, uh, Danida, that is the Vice President, Sustainable Infrastructure and Finance, um, <coughs> Emily Kilongi, uh, African Development Bank, uh, Nathan Rono Tumising, Senior PPP Specialist uh, at World Bank, Samuel Karidi, Country Director, Gatsby Africa, uh, Dominic O'Neill, Executive Director, Sanitation and Hygiene Fund, Mr. John Gashora, Chairman, Kenya Bankers Association, Mr. Nganga Mbage, KPMG, and uh, uh, Commercial Bank's representatives that participated. Thank you so much for giving us the opportunity to appreciate uh, our high-level presenters. With that, I invite Engineer Lima to proceed with the next steps in the program. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Willis, the CEO of Water Sector Trust Fund, the Cabinet Secretary, Mr. Sakari Njeru, the Principal Secretary, Mr. Julius Correir, the DG for Viga, Mr. Christopher, the representative of the Chair of Water Sector Trust Fund, Joseph Ngacha, uh, participants, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Good afternoon. God is good. So we should be I know it's a Friday afternoon where people uh, have closed off for other activities. We want to appreciate you for being here. We want to thank you so much for coming and being with us up to this moment. In this conference, we had uh, close to 1,000, in fact, 1,000 participants and delegates. We had 19 uh, convener, se convener sessions, 19 speakers seven operators and 34 panelists. We had uh, 40 papers, reports and presentation. So this conference has been uh, very successful and we want to thank you for that. So as we come to the closing, we want to thank everyone who, who came. We had several board chairmen who are here or chairpersons. Uh, we have recognized the ones for Water Sector Trust Fund. We still have, I can see the chair for Tanati Waterworks Development Agency. I saw in the morning the chair for Water Resources Authority. If you see, I can also wave. It's not, maybe it's not here now. So we appreciate all of you who came. 
It is now the responsibility of us as a sector to go back now and implement the resolutions that will be read to us uh, uh, this afternoon. So without much ado, I want to request the representative of the chair of Water Sector Trust Fund, Engineer Ngechu, Ngachu, Ngachua, Ngachua, to come and make some remarks, and then after that I will give the next, next course of action. Thank you, Engineer Halima. Um, I'm here standing in for our chairman, as you've been told, and I'll therefore proceed and uh, read his remarks. And these are the remarks from our chair, Dr. Eric Ruto, who is caught up in another meeting elsewhere. Cabinet Secretary, Honorable Zakaria Jero, our Principal Secretary for the Parent Ministry, Mr. Julius Correo, our Water Secretary, who has been our able Chairman, Engineer Sawa Lima, Excellency Governors, Sector Institutions, Diplomatic Corps, who are here, WASIC Sponsors, Private Sector, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen. Once again, good afternoon. As we draw the curtains on this remarkable conference, I stand before you once again profoundly honored to have engaged in extensive discussion during this pivotal event. We have all embarked on the 2024 WASIC journey together, exploring the depths of accelerating investment for sustainable access to water and sanitation for all. And I must say, the insights shared have been nothing short of enlightening. Reflecting on our discussion, it is evident that blended finances, financing offers a significant de-risking opportunity for both public and private entities engaged in PP contracts. We have delved into how the sector has diligently prepared for these requirements from the regulatory frameworks, such as the Amendment to Water Act 2016, anchoring PPs, peace through Annex Water Purchase Agreement, to the meticulous development of financing systems and procedures tailored for blended financing. Furthermore, we have pondered the pivotal role of the Water Sector Trust Fund, Trust Fund in PP arrangements. Water Fund's contributions pass from financing viability gap funding to fostering performance improvement in water sector institutions ensuring their creditworthiness. The WASIC conference also delved into critical thematic areas, each pivotal to our shared goal of achieving universal access to water and sanitation by 2030. Our conversation on water and sanitation for all have not only highlighted the urgency of this goal, but have also showcased innovative strategies to accelerate our progress towards this. Moreover, our exploration of regulatory frameworks as an accelerator for investment has brought to light the indispensable role of policies in catalyzing funding and fostering sustainable development. The perspective shared on the economic and operational sustainability of water sector infrastructure investment have illuminated the past world, not just building infrastructure, but ensuring in long-term viability and effectiveness. Perhaps most critical of our discussion, on our discussions, of discussions on positioning the water and sanitation to mobilize climate finance in Kenya have opened eyes to the myriad of challenges and opportunities that lie ahead. This conversation is a reminder of the intricate link between the sector and the broader climate and danger highlighting the urgent need to innovate financing solutions to support our resilience and adaptation efforts. As we close this conference, I extend my deepest gratitude to all who have made this gathering a resounding success. Our heartfelt appreciation goes to the Ministry, the Council of Governors, 
and all the institutions in the organizing and steering committees for their unwavering support. We owe a debt of gratitude to our esteemed sponsors, including our development partners, media, commercial banks, private sector entities, and sister institutions within the sector for the invaluable contributions. Your presence here today speaks volumes. It speaks of your faith in the Water Sector Trust Fund. Your unwavering support for this conference and your belief in the immense potential of Kenya's water and sanitation sector. The discussions that emerged during the sessions resonate to the conference's theme. These are testament to our collective commitment to action. The resolutions chart a course for the implementation of the insights gained here, ensuring that our dialogue translates into tangible progress for Kenya's water and sanitation sector. As we adjourn, I encourage each one of you to forge meaningful partnership and rejuvenate your spirit. The future awaits us with new opportunities and challenges. Let us carry forward the momentum generated here, translating discussions into tangible actions that accelerate progress towards our shared goal of achieving the sustainable development goals. To our international guests, your presence has enriched our discussion. And I urge us all to leverage these connections to drive impactful projects through these public-private engagements. In closing, let us continue to collaborate, innovate, and pave way for a brighter, water secure future for all. Thank you, and may we meet again united in our mission to accelerating investments for sustainable access to water and sanitation for Asante Sana, Dr. Eric Ruto. Thank you. Thank you so much, Engineer. I will invite the Principal Secretary to guide us on the resolution and also request him to invite the DG and the Cabinet Secretary and then after that, uh, after the cabinet secretary, we'll have a closing prayer. And then we request to have a, the CS having a photo with all speakers at the center of the amphitheater. So those speakers who are, who are named, please come after the, uh, the CS keynote closing address. Thank you so much, Engineer Lima. Honorable... CS Zachary Njeru, uh, Deputy Governor Vihiga, Wilberforce, if I remember the name well, uh, the uh, engineer representing the chair and all the distinguished guests. Mine is really to read through the communique of uh, what has transpired from the time we started on Wednesday up to now and I'll read the communique. <clears throat> we, the stakeholders of Water and Sanitation Investment Conference 2024, held here in Nairobi from 6th of March to 8th, 2024, guided by the principles of the Constitution of Kenya, acknowledging the human rights to water and reasonable standards of sanitation, also recognizing water and sanitation as essential services for inclusive social and economic growth and sustainability of ecosystems, affirming the need for the strength, the, uh, um, the need to strengthen our commitments to implement actions to address the challenges of water and sanitation for sustainable development, improved livelihoods, poverty eradication, and climate re res resilience. Also reaffirming our determination to achieve the sustainable development goals, in particular SDG number six, to ensure availability and sustainable, sustainable management of water and sanitation for all, being mindful of our commitments on water and sanitation contained in the UN resolution number 64, stroke 292 of 2010, the Paris Climate Agreement, the Sendai Agreement, 
for Disaster Risk Reduction and the Daegu Declaration and Establishment of the International Decade of Action on Water for Sustainable Development, reaffirming the relevance of the agenda, Africa Agenda 2063 and the Africa Water Vision for 2025 on access to water, resources, and, san and quality sanitation in Africa and the world, being aware that resilience in the face of climate, demographic, health, and food change changes, the fight and the fight against water stress requires availability of water in quality and in quantity. Recognizing the need to prioritize availability of water in rural areas to fostering development and spur economic growth, create opportunities for youth and women, therefore tackling rural to urban migration and concerned about the funding gaps for investments to achieve sustainable water resource management and universal access, access to water and sanitation also aware of the significance of water in fostering cooperation for peace and partnership in addressing shared challenges towards a common good and reaffirming the importance of gender mainstreaming and inclusivity in addressing challenges of water and sanitation and cognizant on the need for technology and innovation in driving sustainable development in water and sanitation. This congregation therefore calls upon government, development partners, private sector, and communities to, one, guarantee the right to water and sanitation for all by accelerating the implementation of the right to water and sanitation for, for all through appropriate responsive programs legislative frameworks, and mobilize all actors through integrated and inclusive uh, strategies. B, ensure availability of the water resources and resilience by establishing and implementing a dynamic water sector climate financing strategy, developing sustainable integrated water resource investment and a financing plan to preserve water resources, increasingly invest in climate change mitigation and adaptation measures to ensure resilience, further provide uh, conservation of water catchment areas, sorry, further promote conservation of water catchment areas, groundwater recharge areas, aquifers, lakes, and wetlands. C, ensure adequate funding through mobilization of adequate financial resources to invest in water development, water resource management, and sanitation infrastructure for various resources, Encourage, encouraging also innovative financing mechanism and private sector investment in water and sanitation, and finally leveraging on climate financing to ensure resilience to water, um, climate change in the water, uh, and sanitation sector. Also, this congregation is urged to ensure uptake of innovation and technology in the sector by promoting uptake of technology to solve challenges in water and sanitation infrastructure, reduction of non-water revenue and in water resource management. This congregation also in, in, is encouraged to, in, is uh, urged to encourage innovation to upscale local solutions to solve local challenges. And in lieu of the above, we hereby recommend as a congregation that the government develop a robust legal and policy framework that spurs private sector investment in water and sanitation sector while ensuring minimum maximum absorption of funds and mitigation, mitigating political risks to that the water service providers address governance and operational inefficiencies through the implementation of enacted and amended regulatory frameworks geared towards improved administrative processes, accountability mechanism, and streamline operational processes. Three, that the sector explores and adopts innovative financing mechanisms, including PPPs, bonds, 
household contribution, and private sector financing to leverage on additional resources in achieving water security and access to sanitation. Four, to strengthen partnerships and collaborations between national and county governments, development partners, and private sector to scale up growth in the sector. And <clears throat> number five, that the sector adopts and commits to realign the programs and projects to ensure full implementation of national water and sanitation uh, sanitation investment plan, NAWASIP, which I think has been the main focus in this uh, uh, session for the last three days. <clears throat> so finally, we wish to express our gratitude to the CS and the ministry team, the Water Sector Trust Fund, the Council of Governors, the Water Sector Institutions, steering and organizing committees, sponsors, and all participants who have worked very hard to ensure the success of the Water and Sanitation Investment Investors Conference 2024. Thank you. That is the end of the communique, and uh, I don't think I have anything much to add, but now to take this humble opportunity to invite the Deputy Governor from Vihiga, who is representing the Council of Governors, to give his closing remarks. Karibu. Thank you very much on behalf of uh, His Excellency Andrew Mwadime, the governor of uh, Taita Taveta County, who is equally the chairperson of uh, Water, Forestry, Natural Resource, Resources Management Committee at the Council of Governors, uh, the Honorable Cabinet Secretary for the Ministry of Water, Sanitation, and, Ir and Irrigation, the Principal Secretary, the Water Secretary, the Chair and the Board of uh, the Water Sector Trust Fund, Chief, Chief Executive Officers of other water sector institutions, representatives of uh, the civil society organizations, private sector and development partners, water and sanitation investors present, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. I take this opportunity to thank us all for this fruitful engagement since the official opening of this Water Sanitation Investors Conference, WASIC 2024. Indeed, I believe we have all renewed our commitment to executing our mandate to ensure universal access to water and sanitation services for all Kenyans as envisioned by the Constitution. I have previously, I have said previously that ensuring universal access means providing services for all in all settings, in, including schools, healthcare facilities, workplaces, and public places while addressing the needs of all population groups. The catchphrase, water and sanitation for all, which is the road for universal access by 2030, calls for full Im implementation of the Kenya's national water and sanitation investment and financing plan and harnessing the potential for increased financial commitments from partners. A robust governance and policy framework will create an enabling environment for investments as it will strengthen account accountability, intergovernmental inter coordination, bankability of water institutions, and address gaps, thereby boosting investor confidence. Ladies and gentlemen, we have, we have had deliberations on exploring public-private partnerships in Kenya's water sector and its opportunities and challenges. County governments are recognized under various legal provisions of PPPs, and it is our hope that with the passing of the Water Amendment Bill, National Assembly Bill Number 33 of 2020, 2023, 
by the Senate, county governments will play, will be key players in implementation of public-private partnerships in the sector. There is need to consider the effect of uptake of PPPs in Kenya's water sector, including the impact of PPP framework on pricing of water, equity in opportunities between the private and the public sector, bankability and viability of water service providers, global best practices, and most importantly, collaboration between national and county governments as contracting authorities. There is need for strengthening private sector engagement for blended financing mechanisms. This will require addressing issues pertaining to the role of various institutions, efficient business models that ensure value for money in bankable water and sanitation interventions, opportunities, challenges, and, and de-risking blended private sector financing. I would also like to remind us of effective water resource management through innovative financing for water resource management, prudent pricing of water resources, water accounting, nature-based solutions, carbon credit for the water market, and enhancing collaboration between national and county governments, water stewardship, and collective action. It is against this backdrop of all these deliberations that I make a clarion call for, for us to intensify our efforts towards bridging the gap in universal access to water and sanit sanitation services. To ensure that none, no one is left behind in access to water, it is imperative for the duty bearers and indeed all stakeholders to prioritize investments in water supply infrastructure and improve access to safe and clean water. For sanitation to be, to be adequate, the services need to be accessible, affordable, and sustainable for all members of the community. This can be achieved through combination of infrastructure development, effective policies coupled with regulations. It is my hope that the best practices shared during this session will spur the efforts of national and county governments, the private sector, development partners, and investors in the sector to ensure that our citizens have access to clean and safe water in adequate quantities and reasonable standards of sanitation as enshrined in our constitution. Uh, thank you all and uh, God bless you all. Uh, I ask Council of Government support to the Council and most importantly to the 47 county governments uh, in the Republic of Kenya. Asante Nisana. Thank you, Your Excellency. I think we really appreciate the, your presence here to represent the county governments because in the delivery of water, we cannot do it without your uh, support and full involvement. So we really appreciate and we look forward to continued uh, working together. I think as we even resolved yesterday that apart from the normal framework of engagement, that is the sector, water sector intergovernmental forum, we will also now break it further to basin uh, intergovernmental sector forum, where we will be discussing issues that are relevant to a particular uh, basin so that we are able to uh, face whatever is in those areas. So thank you so much. We appreciate you. This time, now I want to welcome our CS, who has really invested time and energy and has been monitoring our progress as we started up to now. So we want to appreciate him, and I want to ask to clap as he comes. Karibu, sir. Uh, thank you very much. The PS, water and sanitation, 
COG representative, uh, deputy governor, Vega County, <coughs> development partners, the sector institutions represented by chairpersons and the CEOs, WASIC sponsors, our speakers and uh, panelists, <coughs> private sector, non-state organizations, convenance, delegates, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. I want us uh, first to clap for ourselves. Can we all clap? <clears throat> Why? It's because to bring together a thousand delegates and participants plus 150 exhibitors, it's something that we should all be proud of. So I really appreciate uh, the organizers and all the participants uh, who in the last three days have been here and I'm sure by the end of today, uh, we'll have concrete uh, answers to some of the problems that we've had. I'm sure some of us have made friends and going forward, I think this is a relationship that uh, most of us will have uh, going forward. I also would wish, if it's possible, this be an annual event so that we can be taking stock of what we discussed and then chat a way forward, if it's possible. Uh, I think that's something that we should all embrace. Today is a day of great excitement and gratifications as we come to the close of this wonderful, crucial, and effective conference, which we fondly named WASIC, a name which is now on every Kenyan's tongue. We shall remember WASIC for the in-depth and rich conversations, for the excellent and relevant exhibitions, for the business partnerships that have been discussed, and for the potential agreements that will be signed as a result of this conference. Most importantly, we shall remember WASIC 2024 for accelerating investments for sustainable access to water and sanitation for all. This is the theme of Water and Sanitation Investors Conference and judging from the participation of our partners, investors, private sector and public bodies of all definitions, I am confident that investment and business deals have been struck and will continue to be made. It is it is what happens after WASIC 2024 that will define the impact of the last three days. I had the pleasure of participating on the first day and I've kept abreast of all the discussions and the activities at WASIC, including the networking gala dinner last night. Discussions on public and private sector collaborations have dominated as a confluence uh, as the conference intended, and there is a call for factoring the private sector more and intentionally in designing programs and innovative financing options. To our banks, let's engage more. Let's customize products for the water and sanitation sector, which has many unique characteristics and should be defined on its terms. To the investors, we are always ready to listen even as we have taken time to present our project in the pipeline for the PPPs, DAMS Initiative, and NAWASIP, among others. Let us know how we can enable you to participate in Kenya's water and sanitation sector as a business case to accelerate the achievement of 2030 goals for water and sanitation, irrigation, and water resources management. In His Excellency's opening speech, which I read, the President gave the key statistics for the sector's position and goals. My two principal secretaries and other sector officers have throughout the conference given in-depth details on those statistics. 
today my call to all is to come and work together in closing the existing gap of Kenya shillings 652 billion, leaving no one behind but fully serving everyone with water and sanitation by the year 2030. In conclusion, I wish once again to appreciate the organizers of WASIC 2024, starting with the host minister, Ministry of Water, Sanitation and Irrigation, the Water Fund and co-host the Council of Governors, supported by all our sector institutions and representatives of the private sector and non-state institutions. I greatly appreciate all our sponsors from platinum to bronze and even those below bronze who gave resources through participation in this conference. I appreciate all our development partners who, even as we speak, are helping us accelerate access to water and sanitation. I appreciate the private sector and non-state actors for their active role in the water and sanitation sector. And I appreciate all delegates who took time of their busy schedules to attend and engage actively in WASIC 2024. Special thanks to all our speakers, panelists, conveners, facilitators, moderators, and ex ex exhibitors, without whom we wouldn't have had the rich conference we are concluding today. A product is only as good as the process, and the quality of our content delivery was excellent. I wish you all the best as you go back home, and to our international guests, safe travels back home, and take our greetings and Kenyan warmth back to your families, organizations, and country. Spare time to sample our hospitality industry and the magical Kenya through our Nairobi National Park, which is just a short drive from here. Don't rush out. Kenya is now a visa-free country. There are many beautiful sites to behold in our country, including the Savo National Park, Masai Mara, and the white sandy beaches of Mombasa and other coastal towns. God bless you all. God bless Kenya. Thank you. Thank you very much. Santeni. Uh, let's appreciate our cabinet secretary once more. Can we have the closing prayer? Who is doing it? Good. And then after that, speakers, you come so that you make to take a photo with the cabinet secretary as he walks out. Uh, good evening, all. I think it is prudent if we all stand for prayer. Thank you. I know many of you are here are Christians. The man standing before you is a Muslim, and I'm going to lead you in a um, Muslim prayer. Uh, I know many of you, whatever somebody prays, you say Amen, or at the end of the prayer, possibly you will expect me to uh, end with the name of Jesus Christ. In this regard, there is no mentioning of Jesus Christ. We will only say Amen at the end of my prayer. Thank you. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. You alone we worship, and you alone we seek help. Lead us, guide us into the straight path, the path in which you have led Abraham, Jesus, Adam, Muhammad, and all the prophets who came to this world. Our Lord, do not lead us into the path of those who have gone astray, or the path of those who have earned your anger, our Lord, we have been here for the last three days deliberating on how to accelerate investment for sustainable access to water and sanitation for all. Our Lord, help all our delegates who have gathered here, accord them 
safe journey as they prepare to go back to their respective destinations and guide us, help us, so that we may be able to meet here again for another similar conference as we struggle to mitigate ways of ensuring access to water and sanitation. Our Lord, bless our Prophet Muhammad Sallam uh, as you have blessed Abraham and his family. Our Lord, recognizing your presence and great support during this conference and the preparation that went into it. We are really humbled by the support of our partners, uh, notwithstanding uh, the participation by the delegates, the conveners, and the exhibitors. We ask that you bless anyone who supported this conference, either in small way or big way, towards, this, towards the success of this conference. Our Lord, we appreciate our chief guest, the CS, Zachary Njeru, the Council of Governors, uh, the sector, partners, the sponsors, private sectors, and non-state institutions. Our Lord, help us. Uh, I pray that we go back home safely uh, until we, come, we meet again. Amen. Say amen and take your seats. Thank you. Speakers, kindly come to the center of the amphitheater.